In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use AirLink, Steam Link, and Virtual Desktop to launch sim racing titles such as Assetto Corsa, AMS2, and ACC wirelessly with your MetaQuest 3 or Quest 2. I'll also show you how to install the Steam Link app on your Quest headset, which is used to connect to your PC running the Steam Desktop application. And I'll also be showing you how to install the Virtual Desktop Streamer application onto your desktop and then the Virtual Desktop app onto your Quest headset so they can work together as well. Now a quick disclaimer here, I use a link cable with my Quest 3 for sim racing so please don't take the settings you may see on screen as the best settings or the most optimised settings. So with all that in mind, let's get into it. So firstly, let's go through AirLink. So AirLink is Meta's wireless version of the Quest Link cable, so essentially it lets you play PC VR titles on your Quest 3 or your Quest 2. Now grab your Quest headset and power it on, and after a few seconds you should see Quest Home. Now we're going to press the Oculus button on the controller there, and as we hover over the time, you can see it's a shortcut for quick settings, so we're going to click on that. Now, Click on Quest Link, and as you can see, I've got Air Link enabled at the top. There's the PC in the middle, it says connected, it says meet requirements, and we're just going to click launch. And after a few seconds, up comes the Oculus Link. Now we can launch the titles a couple of ways. We can simply lift the headset up, and we could go into Steam, and we could choose the game, and we could choose play. But what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the desktop icon at the bottom. I'm going to choose my monitor, monitor one, the main monitor. And there you can see we're on the desktop. We can just see that right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to launch a set of course using Content Manager. And after a few seconds, we'll see Content Manager load. Let me just go into the drive area here. So I've already got a Ferrari LaFerrari chosen at Brands Hatch. Quite like that. We've got practice mode on. Weather's clear. So we're just going to click go. And then after a few seconds, we should find ourselves inside the Ferrari LaFerrari at Brands Hatch. And here we are. And to simply exit, we just click on the power icon there at the bottom, as always. And here we are. It takes us back to our desktop. And to exit, we just click on the icon at the bottom and we click Disable. If you're finding the content in this video useful, consider driving straight into that subscribe button for more content like this. Next up is Steam Link, and Steam Link is an app that's free, and it's available for all major devices and platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Apple devices, Android devices, Raspberry Pi devices, and MetaQuest 2, 3, and Pro. Now, it allows you to play your Steam games on your phone, on your tablet, on your TV, and on your VR headset. Now, as I mentioned, it's a free application and you can find this in the Meta Store. So to install this, we're going to pop on our VR headset. So we're going to click on the Oculus button on the controller. We're going to click on Store. There it is. Then we're going to click on Search and we're going to type in Steam Link. And there it is at the top. Uh, just because I recently searched for it, so I'm going to click on it. What you're going to see there, you're going to see the blue Install button. So click on the Install button and it will quickly download it and then begin installing it and once it's done you'll see there's a blue open button there so I'm going to click on the Steam Link icon you can click on the open button there and it's going to ask us to allow permission so it's going to ask us to allow to be able to sort of search the local network looking for the PC that's got Steam on it I'm going to say allow and here we go within a few seconds it should find the desktop that's running steam there we go there's the desktop that's running steam app i'm going to click on connect and uh, it's going to click on allow permissions and there we are we're in steam home as you can see now we'll click on automobilista as a game we'll launch automobilista 2 and we'll click play and within a few seconds we should see the automobilista game we should be launched into it and there we are, we are inside Automobilista 2. And now we can choose to do a time trial or a multiplayer online race or a single race or a test day. Let's choose Let's choose test day. Uh, let's choose a track. We've currently got Brands Hatch selected. Actually, do you know what? Let's stick with Brands Hatch. I quite like Brands Hatch. Let's choose select. And let's choose the 911 as well and press start. And within a few seconds, we should find ourselves inside AMS2. There we go. We're at track. Let's press the drive button. Looks gorgeous. And here we are. We're in the 911 as we pull out of the pits. 
And finally, virtual desktop. So like Steam Link, there's an app you have to install on the headset, but this isn't free. At the time of recording, it was priced in the Meta Store for £14.99, so just shy of £15. So if you want to use virtual desktop, you're going to have to purchase this and install it onto the headset. So to do this, pop on your headset. We're going to press on the Oculus Home button and then we're going to click on the store icon at the bottom and click search and we're going to search for virtual desktop there it is we can just see that right at the top there and just give it a few seconds and it will show up now i already have this installed so mine says open in the blue button there yours will say install so go ahead and install that it will ask you to purchase that so go ahead and go through that as well and then once that's done the next thing we need to do is install the virtual desktop streamer app. So remove your headset and open up a web browser and click on the link in the description below to download that. Once, once that's downloaded and click on it to install. So here we are, it says welcome. We're gonna click on next. We're gonna choose a location. I'm just gonna choose the C drive, but you could choose to install this wherever you want. So we're gonna click next and we're gonna click install. Now I'm gonna speed this process up for you because it does take a little bit of time, but once that's done, you should then see a screen pop up. Ensure that the launch the virtual desktop streamer app option is ticked as shown. And then we're gonna click finish. Now, as we can see on screen, there are a number of options here that are available. There's a codec option which you can choose. There's an OpenXR runtime option you can choose. Uh, you can choose on the right hand side to start it automatically with Windows, to start it minimized. So just choose the options that you want and then click minimize. Next, we're going to pop our headset back on and we're going to launch the virtual desktop application. Now, there are a number of options here to be able to do this, but we're going to click into our library. We're going to click into applications and we're going to scroll down until we find virtual desktop and then we're going to click on it. Now, after a few short seconds, the virtual desktop application will open within the headset. There we go. And there you can see it's automatically connected to my desktop. Now, if it doesn't do that, provided it's found the computer, if you just click on the computer once, it will then connect to your desktop. But here we can see there's my virtual desktop in the background and here's the options within the virtual desktop application. As you can see, the settings and the streaming. Now, there are some VR graphics quality settings here, right from Potato all the way through to Godlike. Now, Potato being the least powerful PC and godlike being the most powerful PC you'll see next to those names there are graphic GPU models so just choose the option that matches the system specs that you have and I would encourage you to go ahead and understand each and every one of these settings so that you're choosing the best option for your system so you you get the best experience out of virtual desktop now to launch our games we can do this a couple of ways but we're going to go into the games option there and we're going to launch Auto Mobilista 2 and within a few seconds, and again, I will speed this up for you as well, we should be in Auto Mobilista 2. So in summary, Air Link is both quick and easy to use. There's nothing to install apart from the Oculus desktop application. But I found Air Link to be temperamental. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. Now, this may well be the wireless setup that I have, as I do know that it does work well for others. Steam Link, whilst you do have to install an application onto the headset, which is free, this is very quick and easy to use and it just worked every time I tried it. And then finally, Virtual Desktop. Now, this is more complex and more costly than the other two. There are so many options available, but this also works very well indeed. If you want total control over what settings and codecs you want to run and the cost isn't an issue, then Virtual Desktop would be the choice for you. But if you simply want something that just works and works very well, then you can't go wrong with Steam Link. Now, if you want to take your VR sim racing experience to the next level, check out the video that I'm showing on screen right now, which is the top 10 VR sim racing accessories every sim racer needs. Catch you in the next one.